back, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have Ellie Gate here again. He's frequently here on Gordon Guitar because he's very guitar friendly, nice songs, very easy to play as well. And yes, this is a good example of that. I'm sorry, that's the title of this new song here. So we'll start with this uh, capo here set on the first fret. And with that, we have four chords. So capo on f first, four first, first. And we have the four chords here. Starting here with the G, that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. All right, the next chord will be D, so that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. All right, A minor seven next. That is open A, second D, open G, first B, and open E. And the fourth and final is the C. So you just go from this A minor 7, just add the third fret on A string, and that's it. That gives us third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. There you have your C. So that's the chord pressure from the beginning till the very end. G, D, minor 7 and C. Alright, so we have this uh, string pattern that will work for this song and at about uh, half an into this song it starts to be a little bit more on the beat dominant uh, thing here when it comes to the strumming. I'm gonna show you how to do that but the main string pattern will be like this. Grab the G and it sounds okay so that is down, down, we start that easy, so down, down, and then comes up, up, down, 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 up. So down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So you make a short, short pause there in between the up, up, down. Short pause there and then down, down, up. So. Down, down, up, up, down, down, down. And that is one round. You're gonna play one round per chord. So with the chord pressure on G, D, A minor, and C, it will sound. You could play like this from the beginning till the very end, but about 1 minute and 39 seconds into the song, where you start a new fresh round here with the G, it starts to be a little bit more on the beat dominant um, half of the song, okay? So that means we could add a clap instead, and I showed you in the introduction of this tutorial how it sounds. So it will be the same strumming pattern here, but instead of playing two downs here, I'm gonna show you which ones you're gonna play a clap instead. So you just replace a down with a clap. And the two downs we're gonna replace here will be the second down. So we're gonna play down and then instead of playing down here, we make a clap. So down, clap. And then comes the up, up, down part. So you're gonna play that. And then the next down here, the down, down, up. The next down there, you're gonna replace that as well with a clap. So that will be down, clap, up, up, down, clap, down, up. So. And if you don't want to kill the sound fully like this, clap on all strings, you can just hit uh, like this on the E string there with a the thumb or so, and all the other strings will ring out. It could sound like this. it's up to you your choice and that starts like I said about 1 minute and 39 seconds into the song you could go over to this beat uh, dominant thing here or just stay with the strumming here it's up to you but that is pretty much how you play alligators I'm sorry so I'm hoping you are satisfied with this tutorial I really do I help you here really try to and make this as easy as possible so if you love this tutorial or just like it it's enough you can hit me a like on this one. 
and i hope to see you soon very very soon guys so thank you and play tuned